in horizontal alignment, sometimes it's necessary to offset a tangent to avoid an object or an obstacle, whether it's an environmental factor or something that in the development or human environment that would cause the curve to need to be realigned so that you can avoid something may occur. And when this is done, sometimes we can just shift a tangent parallel to itself in or out. So make the essentially make the tangent length longer or shorter. And we have a process for carrying this out uh, and changing the key components of a curve without having to adjust all of the components of the curve. And so we'll see that as we carry out this process. So to carry out this function of offsetting a tangent, a nomenclature adding prime to all the new components. So L prime represents the new length. T prime is the new tangent length. PI prime and PT prime are the new PI and PT respectively and R prime is the new radius. The way this is performed is by looking at the distance the tangent is moved parallel. So this only applies to tangents that are shifted in a parallel direction. And they can either be effectively lengthening the tangent length or shortening it. So in this image, we see it being lengthened by moving it a parallel distance D and along the tangent will be the distance X. So again, in this image, we see the object that needs to be avoided and a, an old curve that would have been in place if that alignment was used, but with a new curve, a new length, new tangent, new PI, new PT, new radius uh, will be put into place to avoid that object. D is the distance between the old and the new tangents. And again, the tangents must be parallel uh, for these assumptions to work. X is the distance along the tangent, which is equal to the distance D divided by the sine of delta. T prime, so the new tangent length, is the old tangent length T plus X. And in the case of a tangent moving towards the PC, so being shifted inward, the X will be negative, so we have a shorter tangent length, that's shorter T prime. R prime is T prime divided by the tangent of delta divided by two. The new degree of curvature DC prime is 18,000 over pi times the radius prime, the new radius. L prime, the new length, is equal to 100 multiplied by delta divided by the degree of curve prime, the new degree of curve. And our PT prime is equal to the PC plus the new length L prime.